Okay, so this is um, Krebs cycle. Do notice here, there's no apostrophe in there. It's not the cycle of Krebs, so we don't apostrophize it. Um, named to Hans Krebs and another guy you worked with whose name forget at the moment, Georgie something, uh, Georgie Krebs cycle. Named after the, the discoverers. Anyway, it's to us, is it? So we've come off the, the, the link reaction. So we had pyruvate um, going through uh, acetyl coenzyme A to acetate and then it enters the cycle. So let's just um, put the acetate on here for a moment. Acetate is a two carbon compound. Now it's all about remembering uh, the carbons here. What you can do to help remember it is if you can remember this sequence um, 6, 5, 4, Four, 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 six, five, double four, double four. If you can remember that, um, you can remember the rest of the cycle. And just to show you that, uh, let's just put those numbers in six, five, double four, double four. Okay. All I'm showing here is. Um, the number of carbons in the compounds as we go along. So notice we've gone here from four carbon and we've added a two carbon compound in, so we've gone to six. Six to five to four to four. So it follows around. Okay, and there's the, the basic cycle. We need to work out where the various um, coenzymes and ATP and so on are involved. But first one we're going to do is the easy one. We'll work out carbon dioxide. Or where do we decarboxylate? That great word again, that decarboxylation. Well, if we've gone from 6 down to 5, we must have lost carbon. So we've decarboxylated there, so there's carbon dioxide coming out. We've gone from 5 to 4, same thing again. We must have lost carbon dioxide. All the rest, well, it's the same. In fact, we add carbons up here, so there's no more carbon dioxide to come out. If you watch the link reaction, you might remember um, that when we decarboxylate, we also get um, hydrogens released. In fact, use blue. So we must have also got reduced NAD, okay, and we must also have it here. So we've got two lots of um, reduced NAD, okay. Now I'll just also give you this other little one to remember it. The little uh, what you call it really? It's not really rhyme. But NAD, NAD, ATP. FADNAD, NAD, NAD, ATP, FADNAD, NAD, NAD, ATP, FADNAD. If you can remember that, again, it makes life easy. Let's see. NAD, NAD, next step must have ATP, NAD, NAD, ATP, this strange one, FAD, reduced FAD, NAD, NAD, ATP, FAD, NAD. Okay, and there we go, we've gone all the way around. These are all the molecules that we need to be concerned about coming off. We're going to have two uh, decarboxylations NAD, NAD, ATP, FAD, NAD. FAD, it's just a slightly, it does the same role as NAD. It's actually fixed um, in place, it's not free to move around, but it does the same thing, it accepts hydrogens, um, hence it becomes reduced. ATP, at this step, you might be thinking, well, hang on, where's this ATP come from? Um, we've gone from four carbons to four carbons, nothing seems to have happened. If you like, what this arrow is showing you here is a whole series of biochemical reactions that we're missing some of them out, we don't need to know about them. It just so happens that some of these steps, a minimum, um, at least 30.6 kilojoules per mole is released, because that's how much energy we need to um, get ATP from ADP and phosphate, an organic phosphate group. So at some point along here, we've released at least 30.6 kilojoules of energy, and it was enough to make ATP, okay? Do remember though, this is one turn of Krebs cycle. Oh, I just better put in as well before I forget. The two um, chemicals in here you're required to know are the six carbon compound, which is citrate, and this four carbon compound over here, um, might be easier if I put it's acetate, but it's oxa low acetate, oxa low, and then acetate. 
So that's that four carbon compound there. Those are the two you have to remember. There are other, you know, all these other chemicals have got names in. There's, there's plenty of others in here that we haven't mentioned. Um, but for your syllabus, you don't need to remember them. So if we look at, let's just add up what we've got here. Um, so for each turn of Krebs cycle, we get three lots of reduced NAD. We get one lot of ATP. But remember that each turn of the cycle is for one molecule of pyruvate. So from each glucose, you would get two times the amount. If they ask you a question on it, make sure you look carefully and think, are they asking me about a molecule of pyruvate or are they asking me about a molecule of glucose? Okay, because each this will go around twice, if you like. It won't go around twice. There'll be two different Krebs cycles going on for each molecule of glucose that's broken down to two pyruvates. Okay. Um, we better put on here now, let's bring this all together. The link reaction we made, um, if you think back, we got one lot of reduced NAD, but again, we can double that up because there are two lots of pyruvate going on. Make sure you know which one they're asking you for. Is it how much reduced NAD per pyruvate or how much reduced NAD per glucose? You'll need to know which one's which. So from link reaction and um, Krebs cycle together, if we add all of these up, let's do this one first, we get 6 reduced NAD and 2 ATP per molecule of glucose. And here's the link reaction, we'd end up with 2 oops, reduced NAD, so in total... 8 reduced NAD to ATP. Remember, we've also got our FAD, our FAD. So again, we can now add this one in. One FAD times 2, 2 reduced FAD. And that's our output from um, Krebs cycle and uh, the link reaction together. It's also worth thinking... Um, just going back for a second, here's uh, the carbon dioxide coming out. So for each turn of Krebs cycle, we lost two carbon dioxides. If you remember in the link reaction, I'll just pull that back for a second, we also lost a carbon dioxide in a different colour. So in other words, for each pyruvate molecule, uh, we lost three carbon dioxides in total. Um, but of course, we get two lots of pyruvate don't we so in total it's six carbon dioxides which should of course look familiar to you from our old uh, formula for aerobic respiration six co2 released from here so that's where our carbon dioxide has come from from our original uh, glucose molecule